pulling this off now. Start stripping vinyl, pulling all these skins off, taking whole cushions, and this project. So here we are making progress. We're in the process of tearing down this trimaran. We got all the sidewalls taken down, all the seating goods all the bases a lot of the wiring is being undone basically an overall tear down setting everything aside all these parts have to be stripped and all the skins have to be prepared for upholstery now that we got all the parts skinned we begin preparing to tear off the carpet and prep the CUSA board to gain access to the center tritune for an additional fuel tank. Next out is the engine. Now that we have the engine out, we're able to see exactly what we need. Compression tests came back excellent and the engine just needs to be resealed. We pull everything apart, machine the heads, basically a light rebuild on this engine. We start preparing the engine bay, designing where we're gonna install the additional fuel tank as the customer is requesting an extra 100 gallon tank. We had rats get into his existing harness so we will completely do a full rewire on this boat. Sandblasting. With the floors on and the side railing installed, we start making plans for the transom. Swim platform modifications we're gonna do, as well as the installation of the harness. The harness has been installed, all sheathed and uh, split conduit. So now it's a matter of reassembling everything along with the side skirts.
2003 JC Tribe tri -team that we fit for a customer. Brought it in, you could not find any shop that was a one-stop shop. And we completely stripped this boat down to the Penske board. This boat has Penske or Kusa, however you know it. And we installed a new 100 gallon fuel tank. This is the access in that tri-tune. All the upholstery was redone, flooring's redone. We did under toe kick lighting, uh, blue and white, powder coated all his framing. We used a uh, all grip SE to paint his new console, as well as all the sheet metal that goes on the side. The idea was to make it match the truck. You can't see it, but that truck is the same color as this all grip SE. It's a enchanted blue flake. Really nice double diamond stitching, all new canvas. Stainless, very simple, seven inch Raymarine MFD. We wanted to play with uh, the kind of finish that we use for his uh, panels. So we went with a blue carbon fiber. We were able to reutilize all his existing gauges, install a phone charger. All his cup holders have uh, blue LED lights in them. New Fusion Audio, new steering wheel, laser cut dash console panels. Gave him a half inch shim riser and moved the seat further outboard. We did all his wiring, brought in his uh, battery on-off switch, one with a single on-off switch with combined feature for his starting and house battery. We did his entire wire harness as the rats had gotten to his original. We fully refreshed his engine, redid all his upholstery. cockpit table, powder coated everything, refresh this engine, which is essentially a light rebuild. Yes, that is a 350 Magnum and a Tritune. We relocated his fuel fills to the transom instead of out on the port side where it was. So now he can fill from his platform. We changed this to where this is for storage now. Before this was sealed shut. We put a sliding hinge and a stay arm to keep it up there. It's plenty of storage there. All new flooring used to have carpeting, it would constantly stay wet. This area here is for a porta potty. This folds up, kind of puts a curtain around you, allows you to hide in there to use the restroom if needed. The customer is very pleased with the outcome. I took a 20 year old boat, made it look like brand new boat. One call does it all with Marine Custom Solutions.